yeah, we should be live now. So, yeah, not Smash Brothers for once, but actually we're going back to Terraria. I had said for a while that I wanted to do an expert run of Terraria, as I've never played on expert. I really don't know that much about expert. I know that enemies do more damage and they have more health, kind of like with, um, Legendary Mode in Skyrim and, um, the, what's it called? Master Mode and, um, Breath of the Wild. But, I've already played like both of those, so um, I think doing the expert mode in Terraria won't be too bad. I will be playing on Slothcore for my character though, and I'll show my character in a sec because I made a great character, but yeah, um, I will be playing on Slothcore so that way I just lose coins because I don't really want to focus on getting my stuff back every time I die. Um, if I wanted to do that I'd just play Minecraft, but I kind of want to make sure that there's somewhat of a difference between the two, and I didn't want to play on... I believe it's hardcore that makes it where if you die, then your world, or your character, like, dies permanently. I think your world gets to stay, though. And I don't want to do that either. I just want to play expert softcore, so we're just going to do that. So, expert, and then, oh, oh. I'm not used to Xbox and Drill. I'll have to get used to that again, as I've been playing on the Switch, and they're, like, reversed. But, um, don't know what I should name the world. I guess, um... Stream 2, because my other one was called Stream. But yeah, the X, and Y, and A and B are um, reversed and um, are on a Switch controller. And I am on a large one, so this is probably going to take a while. But yeah, I've been wanting to get back in Terraria for a while now. Um, I just haven't wanted to stream it, I guess, because I've wanted to stream Smash Bros. And I feel like people want to see that a bit more, but, um, I've been wanting to play Terraria for a while, like, and I don't want to play Terraria at the beginning part, which I'm going to have to, um, with this, but at least it'll be mixed up because it'll be on expert mode, but I don't really want to grind through the beginning again, even though it's going to be even grindier in this version, I think. It will be different, though, because there is, like, expert mode exclusive stuff, so that's kind of why I don't mind grinding at the beginning. As bad as if I was um, just doing a hard mode run or whatever and I couldn't die, which I would still die. But yeah, if I was doing something like that, then um, I would care a bit more. I thought about giving myself like a drill and stuff at the beginning just so um, I could progress through the game pretty quickly. But I decided against that I want this to kind of just be a legitimate um, expert mode playthrough. And this is my first one, so I'm probably going to die a lot. Um, I've played Terraria in the past. I finished the Xbox version, I think. I might have made it into hard mode. I know I finished the mobile version, though. Like, I did everything on there, because it's still not updated to the latest update and everything. There's supposed to be a new update in Terraria as well as coming out. I think it's going to be, like, the final update or something. I thought about waiting until then, but I've been really wanting to play Terraria again, so. And uh, as you notice on the screen, there's not the viewer count. That's to, um, make it like the original season. Or not original season, well I guess that was there too, but on season 2 as well. Which is the one that I beat the Moon Lord in. Um, but the first season of Terraria, I actually got bored of the grind, so I stopped playing, but I came back and finished it. The game's not bad. It's just once you um, get past the beginning, you know, like how bad the beginning is before you get into hard mode with the wall of flesh and everything. Like, the beginning is just so slow. But once it gets, or once you get through all of that, then it becomes much better. So I'm hoping that it's not going to take me that long. Um, I don't plan on beating the wall of flesh today or anything or like that. But also, I will be playing Terraria. I don't know when I'm going to be playing it on stream. I'm going to be playing it on stream a lot, but I'm only going to do it for about 30 minutes a day or something like that. Today will be different. I'll probably do a few streams that are a bit longer than 30 minutes, but I want to do at least like 30 minutes a day on um, Terraria. And I just want the episodes to be like 30 minutes long or whatever for YouTube. So that way they aren't like my two hour viewer battle streams or four hour viewer battle streams or whatever. My old Terraria streams used to be like seven or eight hours long. And I used to be able to stream for that long for some reason, but now I just can't. Um, 
I mean, I could maybe, but I don't think I could stream the same game for that long. Like, I got bored like an hour into Mario Maker on Mario Maker Monday, so I really don't know. But yeah, my character is going to be great. Um, I'm hoping to show them off to you soon. Um, hopefully people understand the reference and I... Or I guess I'll just say the character's name. But you should be able to tell who it is whenever you see them, because I did base it off of a famous movie character from a pretty popular movie franchise recently. Um, but yeah, um, here we go. So, stream. Oh, wait, that's stream one. Dang it. Uh, I messed up. And because I'm streaming off my capture card, then it might. Oh, wait, did I? Oh. Oh, that's time it loaded fast. Um, but yeah, hopefully nobody saw my character there. You might have seen a bit of them, but I think I paused it fast enough to be able to cover it. So yeah, I thought that was going to take forever to load, but it actually didn't. Because in the test stream, when I was testing out the audio and stuff, I loaded up the world just to, like, test frame rate. And it was a very long load. But I guess because I haven't played in a while. But yeah, oh wait, there's my character. Well, I guess you saw them. But yeah, here, we're going on expert mode, and I'm playing as Thanos. So, yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to make Thanos the character that I play as. Um, just to mix it up a bit. Rather than a regular person type character. But yeah, we're back in Terraria. And as I said, um, or I think I was trying to say, but I think I kind of interrupted myself. But this stream will be a bit longer than most of the other Terraria streams because I just want to try to get started. I at least want to have, like, a decent house or something. It doesn't even have to be a house, it can just be, like, a cave place. Are we about to have my first death because that slime just did, like, 13 damage? Oh, I thought I had my sword. I was like, man, this sword is terrible. But this slime is deadly. I really need to get a wooden sword. Not only because, um... Literally all the material that, um, are not materials, but like, tools that Thanos has is awful. Like, unhappy, um, axe, and then, um, copper sword sword that's gray. Alright, it's not bad, apparently. Yeah, I'm gonna die here, actually. Unless I can do that. Oh, I'm dead. Um, ah, uh, I thought I could jump over it. Those short swords, like, you can't really do anything with them. So, let me just go get a wooden sword. Um, luckily, I didn't die too far from spawn. But yeah, that was a pretty fast first death. There were, like, three slimes. What was I supposed to do? I have a, a short sword. Short sword. I can't speak words. Um, how do I do Terraria again? It's been so long. I'm trying to hit B to craft for some reason. Um... Actually, how do I craft? Okay. Um, nope. This is really bad. Um. Okay, let's just go here. Okay, I figured it out. So we need a workbench here. Oh, that's very cool. If they would have just said that I was in their way, I would have moved. But they never said anything. Let's go ahead and make some wooden armor, because, I mean, honestly, it's not going to hurt. This is a problem that I have with crafting in Terraria, is that it takes ages. Oh, I'm out of material. This axe is terrible. What is it? Minus 10% speed, minus 10% size, minus 10% knockback. But yeah, I can't believe I had a death within like the first 30 seconds. Like, that's gotta be some kind of record. But yeah, now I've got a good sword. Oh, it's just a Zeus. Oh, I guess it's faster. I think it's what that means. I don't have everything in Terraria memorized because it's been so long. But yeah. Um, What I plan on doing now is just finishing up the wooden armor. And then I'll probably put it on once I've got everything. What am I missing? The pants. So this one's the one that gives me armor, right? 
Oh, does it? Oh, the hands don't actually give you any defense. I was kind of wondering. I was like, oh, I guess I put it in the wrong slot. And then I kind of just tested the rest out to see what it was, but... Um... Yeah. I, I'm gonna go mining in like 30 seconds. Just let me kill the slime with the sword. And I'm using the sword, our short sword, because, um, reasons. Actually, you know what, we're gonna just go ahead and remove this. But yeah, I need to find some, like, copper or something. I don't even know if this world has copper. I was trying to swim, but then I remembered that you can't swim without swimming, um, gear like the flippers. The scuba shoes, whatever they're called. Oh, I found one of the trees, that's good. Um, I could just take shelter in here tonight. Might not be a bad idea. I feel like the... No, the eye doesn't spawn until you get HP. I was going to say, I feel like the eyes is going to come tonight or something. Maybe it actually does. Maybe it's different in expert mode. I literally went into expert mode because, or today because I just decided that I wanted to play Terraria in expert mode. Like, I don't know anything about the differences between regular and expert other than kind of what I had said earlier that I think is the differences. It's like, um, HP, damage output, um... And then the rewards, I guess, as well. Because there are some, like, expert loot bags that you can only get by defeating bosses in expert mode. And they'll give you, um, expert mode stuff. That's pretty much it. Like, I really don't know that much else. So I'm kind of going in this blind. It's like starting Terraria all over again, and I'm getting frame rate drops, and it's getting worse, so. I mean, I tried to fix it, but, okay, hopefully it's gonna just stop dropping frames rapidly. I really can't do much, because I just started the stream pretty much, like, we're about, what, four or five minutes in. It's not gonna drop frames during the loading screen, it's gonna drop frames during the actual gameplay. Not the five minute loading screen before, or however long it was. I'm pretty sure it was longer than five minutes. I just wanted to show the loading screen because I wanted to make sure that people saw that the world was in expert mode whenever I made it. But, yeah, I mean, I think I could have just picked it from the world menu because I think it's at expert mode on there as well. Like the world select. Um, going to the desert. I really hate the desert in Terraria. I there's just a lot of stuff that I don't like that's there. Like those worms that just go through everything in existence and they don't really do that much damage or just very annoying. Oh, why it's died. So that was my new guide, I think. Yeah, the guides are just gonna keep dying, I think, until I build a house. Or get them some space to live in, but I'm not going to do that yet. I want to try to get some materials so that way I can have good tools rather than what I have currently. And you don't realize how slow this is until you have a drill or even just like the next um, tool. What was that? And why did it do 45 HP? Oh. Hello, yellow slime. Can you just not come over here again because you did 25 damage? I'm going to drown before I kill this yellow slime, I think. Oh, no. I'm going to die. Oh. How is he hitting me? Because sometimes he didn't hit me, and sometimes he did, so I got kind of confused. But... Yeah, second death, um, not too far from the first one. I think I've got to be setting some kind of a record. But, 
Yeah, I really hate this axe. The reason I haven't built anything yet, because I would just build like a wooden house, is because I hate this axe so much. I just need... Why aren't there stone axes in this game? Why does everything have to be made out of metal? Or wood? Or both? I wonder how much damage green slimes do, because I only ran into the blue ones, and the blue ones don't really mess around that much. And the yellow ones as well, I guess. I don't even want to know what the yellow ones would do, um, without my wooden armor. Oh, I got some bombs. That's good, so I can clear out some stuff. Well, I haven't used my awful pickaxe. Oh, and the zombies. The zombies are going to be terrible as well. But I'm trying to make it where I can have a furnace. What do I need for a furnace? I know I have everything for the recipe, I just don't have the right amount of everything. I think I need more stone. How much stone am I at? 23. So I th I'm just gonna grab like as much as I can before I feel uncomfortable. Which is kind of right now, but I want to grab a bit more. Okay, so I have like 33. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh no. This is how it ended last time. There we go. So here we go. Um... I really just wanted to make a furnace green slime. Can you just not? Okay, so furnace. Um, I'll just put the rope up for now. It's gonna be important later, but for now it's kind of useless. Um, has the guy died again? All I'm gonna say is I've died less than the guide, so I'm pretty proud of that. Um, oh yeah, I forgot that you can just hold down LT to quick craft. I literally know nothing about this game. And I don't have enough material to be able to make a good axe. Or sword. At least I'm happy, so I get, um, regeneration. Or at least a bit more regeneration than normal. Because I'm next to the sunflowers. I think that's the, um, way it works. Or it might be decreased, um, enemy spawning. This eye did so much damage. Oh yeah, these guys take no knockback, and my sword has weak knockback in the first place. Oh boy. I am at one, and I'm not healing. Because I didn't make a campfire. And there's another demon eye, I just killed that one after like a minute. Oh, I'm gonna die. Um, I'm just gonna have to jump over him. Okay, I didn't think that would work. Oh, no. Whew. I don't think it's worthwhile to try to stay alive, but I'm gonna do my best. That way I don't look too bad at the game. Okay, I'm regening a lot. And quickly. It's starting to speed up. Oh no, I'm locking them into me. See, that's the problem with the sword, is that um, it swings over your head. And it like starts behind you and then goes in front of you. So that means that... Oh, and he stole my money. That's cool. That's a thing. That I knew. Okay, let's just respawn, please. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's back. Oh, it's the one that took my money as well. Um, I mean, you can keep it. I'm not going to be able to kill you for now. I'll have to respawn again. The 
eyes do so much damage. Like, everything does so much damage. I know that's kind of the point of expert mode, but... I didn't expect it to be as much as it actually was. But it's a lot. I feel like because he's glowing that he has my money. I, I can't stay alive, not because I'm not trying, it's just that I'm not that great at staying alive. But yeah, they just took all my money because I can't respawn. I am hitting every button and it's just, oh yeah, you don't want to respawn now, you just want all these people to steal your money and walk away. Which, I don't mind the whole walking away part, but the stealing money part is a bit too far. I actually, like, can't live. I, I, I can't stay alive. Oh, I just noticed that I put the crafting table thing on my spawn. I didn't even mean for that to happen. Yep, let's get everyone over here. There we go. You're gonna die before you hit me, right? Nope, just one hit afterwards. Oh, I was turned around? Why? Okay, I think I got all my money back, but... Um, I've kind of embarrassed myself a lot, so... I have wood, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. We're just gonna start to build a house now. It's gonna be a bad house. Um... Sorry, is all I can say. Oh wait, let's build a campfire actually before I die in a second. And I had the wrong thing in my hands. I still have the wrong thing. I'm actually not even mad because that was just a good read. It's gonna steal my money again. Please don't let it steal my money. Okay, it jumped over it. Oh, it still stole my money. Oh no, he's got arrows on him. That means he takes, like, zero knockback. Those enemies already take no knockback in the first place, but... This guy's gonna take zero unless I get a critical hit like I did there, in there. good thing about him is that I get a lot of arrows. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat that mushroom. But yeah, now that I've got the campfire down, I'm actually regenning, so this is great. Should have done this in the first place, I just didn't expect the game to be like how it was. Maybe that's just not even that different from the regular Terraria, because I think I usually put down a campfire first. I just didn't hear because of reasons. I'm gonna have to build like a smeltery area. Cause I don't wanna have a bunch of burning coals in my house for my furnace. We're at least gonna make the place look nice if I can't be good at the game. I gotta be good at something, so house building is what I'll choose. Um, but yeah, I'm like so out of practice from Terraria that I don't even know the controls. So I don't think now it's the best time to start an expert run, but it's happening, I guess. You're not gonna try to fight? Oh, it's gonna try to fight now. I just had to poke it. There we go. So yeah, this is the one that used to aim, okay. I am remembering stuff, it's just taking me a while. I'm 
my house can be nicer, but for now that's just gonna be it because I'm trying to defend it and myself. Yeah, once it's daytime, I'm gonna try to get a good axe because my current setup is terrible. Um, I also kind of want to expand the house a bit as well because it's kind of cramped. I just heard a star. I would like to get it, but... Okay, there it is. So I don't know if I can. Because if we just max out our mana before the wall of flesh, then it's not really going to hurt to do that, so... Also, I think the eye comes every, like, three days. Or not every three days, but after three days of the startup. Oh, it has a metal detector. Oh, nope, that's just something that gives it range. It's like fighting Ganondorf. I actually couldn't challenge it, like, what, uh, what am I supposed to do against that? Oh no, he's gonna steal my money. Okay, um... Uh, they kill me in three hits and they outrange me. It's exactly like Ganondorf, I was right. Um, let's build. Are they just gonna unexist? Oh no, wait, they're coming over here. Okay. We're safe. I think we're good for now. We're just gonna have to dig around them. It's gonna be really slow, but... I mean, there is a fast way out of me dying, but... I would not like that to happen. Yeah, I can try to just hit them. Now I have the range. This is gonna take a very long time. Oh, and I have to spam RT. I can't just hold it down. I didn't kill the bunny, the zombies did. But yeah, it, our, my sword does like two damage. And. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. I should have got the um, short sword and just kept it for this. Could be chopping down trees, mining, just doing regular stuff, but I'm kind of just here. And I can't really get out, so we're gonna be here for a while. Let's see. Um. I'm getting like three or four hits, so I'm whittling them down for sure. And this green slime's gonna come mess up my day, isn't it? Stop stealing my cash. See, the only reason that I'm killing them is because they do have my cash. But... at 9 HP, so that means that he just has to come over here like once more and then he's dead. But yeah, this is what I meant by, I kind of just wanted to skip this part by getting a drill. Because then I could just dig all the way down to the underworld and go fight the wall of flesh and probably die. Or maybe I can just give myself some like adamantium stuff and then um, come back to this world and dominate everything. with like a mega shark or something. I'm gonna try to kill it without the wall because it has like two more hits before death. There we go. We did it. And now another enemy has appeared. This one a bit less dangerous but can still be fatal if not handled correctly. Yeah, I feel like now is going to be the time to upgrade our house. Um, to have a, another level. Um, but first we're going to expand 
the sides. And it's just gonna be made out of like purely wood, or not purely wood, but just wood, I guess. Um, but later I'm gonna change the materials a bit. It's just, now it's just a starting house, so. I'm gonna try to make it look somewhat nice. I just mainly need it to function as a place to survive the night. And the day, sometimes. If there's like a solar eclipse and um, all of those things come. I'm not gonna be prepared for that at all. I just thought about that. It's gonna be like um, one of those Christmas things with the snow globes. I forget what they're called, but it's um, there's a Halloween or a Halloween one as well, where they come and invade you, and then you can try to take them all out. I actually needed to start playing this game more around Halloween, so that way I can get some of the Halloween bags for costumes, because some of the costumes look kind of cool. Compared to a lot of the other stuff in this game, at least. Even though they don't really do anything other than look cool on your character. And we're already playing as Thanos, so... What should I make currently? I think I'm just gonna try to dig around. And make it where... I can have more horizontal area to run. Yeah, I have two grave markers here. Um, I probably will expand my house all the way out to there, but for now it's just gonna be something like this. Because this slime is coming by to say hi. I kind of want to make a village. I think I tried to do that in um, my previous world, but I really like that idea of having all the NPCs living in separate houses and stuff and having like stores and things like that. It's just something that I like to do in Terraria. I think it's a bit different from just building a giant tower and having everyone live in that. And then I usually have like a storage place, although I didn't build that in. Or I don't think I built a storage area in my last Terraria gameplay thing for Season 2. But I will be building something like that pretty soon, actually. I might do it th or this stream. Yeah, we're just going to turn all the rest of this into walls. And there. Oh, a pinky. Um, I don't know why I always find these on like one of the earlier episodes of Terraria, but and then I can never find them later. How much damage do pinkies do, actually? Oh, not that much. They're just like a regular slime. I can work with this. How much HP does it have? 300, and I'm doing like 4 damage, so... It's gonna be a while, for sure, but as long as we keep pushing forward, then we can keep getting more hits in more frequently. But we gotta have to watch our HP. Just gotta keep pushing forward. And there's some iron here as well that I'm gonna grab. I should have just started exploring this way rather than the other way. Um, I'm gonna heal, actually. How much HP does it have now? It's just like a third, so it should have about a hundred. It's getting lower. But there are more slimes here. Called in backup. The boss has summons. This is basically the first boss of Terraria, or of this Terraria expert mode. Not because it's difficult, but because I just can't kill it. 
Um, but yeah, now it's time to make a chest and put that cash away. Because I don't want to lose my gold coins. I know that a zombie's just going to be coming over to steal it pretty soon, so. I really don't want that to happen, but I know that's going to be a thing that occurs. As long as I don't make a chest. So, we're just going to do that. Unless I can find a chest. I'll try to find a chest, but if it starts turning nighttime, then we're coming back, or if I'm close to death as well. I should have just, like, walked over there and then just dug down, but I didn't really think it would take this long to be able to walk to where I'm trying to get to, which is just this iron ore right here. Yeah, now we're going to let in all the water, so it's going to fill in with water really fast, and then I'm going to dig down here, grab some this tin. It's not copper, it's tin. I think I was calling it copper earlier, so that's why I said that. Yeah, we're looking for a chest, or just gonna retreat if I'm close to death as well. And I think I just placed a torch, so I'm gonna pick that up by hitting B, because I know that B removes torches off the ground. I do, re I do remember that, so... Let's see, what's this way? Um... Oh wait, there's a chest underground in that, um, tree, but I'm pretty sure there's a chest in here as well. I really like this, um, kind of cave structure in Terraria. It's a pretty common structure, but I've always liked it. I have built my house, like, the first house that I ever made in Terraria in one. It's kind of just like a cave that goes through a mountain in 2D, so it looks a bit different than it would in something like Minecraft. In Minecraft, it's not that impressive, but in Terraria, it just looks different. And we got a boomerang, so that's great. Merchant has arrived, so... Oh yeah, he's moved into the house, I think. Means that now I have to make a room for the guide, and by a room, I mean I have to make it entirely new or no i can just um start out with rooms and then eventually turn it into a town because i don't even plan on that being my house that's probably going to be the guide's house the one that i'm currently building because the guide actually just doesn't help you at all unless you've never heard of terraria before But yeah, I've already beat the Moon Lord once. Not on expert mode, but just on standard. So, I think I have somewhat of an idea of what I'm doing. But I also died a lot on the first night, so probably not. Or not even the first night. Well, I guess I died more on the first night, I think. But I also... No, I think I died twice in the day, and then I died a lot at night. I think I died three times. So that would make a total of five. Oh, the corruption's there? Yeah. Um, we're just gonna go this way. Oh, I forgot to pick up the chest. As well, that, that's kind of the reason I came out here was to grab a chest. Um, I could store my valuables, and we just have to loot all. Because for some reason you can't destroy chests in Terraria unless they're completely empty. So that's even with, like, dynamite and stuff, it will just leave the blocks underneath. I really don't understand why, but... It's just kind of a thing. And we actually got a pretty good one boomerang. And I like boomerangs in Terraria because they're kind of like swords with a bit more range. And they're faster than swords. Or at least early game swords. Um, yeah, I can't make that jump. I do have climbing claws though. Um, but I don't really have anything that I can do with them currently in this situation. I can do this, though. Climbing claws are probably, like, the most important thing to have at the beginning of the game. Because they can just allow you to climb pretty much anywhere as long as there's a flat wall, or a semi-flat wall in front of you. Like, inside of that tree, if there were no platforms and the walls were in a way where you couldn't just jump up them, you could still get up them with the climbing claw. 
as the angle it is. It kind of curves a bit, it's not just like a straight drop inside of that tree, so that's why I say that, but... Yeah, if you miss, then you have a lot more cooldown than if you um, miss with the sword. But if you land with the boomerang, and your boomerang doesn't knock your opponent that far back, like it does with the slimes, then it's much faster than the, um, most early game swords. Although there are some swords that... See, like, if I just throw it in the ground like this, it's really fast. And that's kind of the speed that you can get. Like, in here, I can get a lot of speed. Oh, actually, the blue slime's gonna bounce off the wall into me. So, just never mind on that. I think it's chasing me, actually. I'm gonna try to throw the, or the boomerang while I'm retreating. That's another thing that you can do, is you can use it to retreat. And throw it out behind you, and then if enemies are walking into it, then they'll take damage. And kind of build up some damage, and then if you have a better sword than your boomerang, then you can just use that. But yeah, I'm here, I've got chest, so I'm just gonna place my chest. I mean, I guess we could talk to Gus and get hits piggy bank, so put money in. And then this anvil is gonna be really nice. Because it's just gonna allow me to skip a lot of stuff. Last for the collection of hay from grass. Um, the mining helmet's kind of nice, actually, because this game's kind of dark in caves. But yeah, because I'm not putting any like smithing stuff in my house. There we go. Also, slime. Could you just not? Let me just put all my coins in here, actually. Did you leave the door open? No, he didn't leave the door open. It just looked open to me. Yeah, you better get inside, Guth. Um, I wouldn't go into a room, though, because I'm about to let the zombie in. Oh, he's throwing um, arrows at it. I, I seriously would not do that, Gus. I would strongly recommend you to not do that. Oh, they can drop through the floor? This is really bad. Please close the door, Gus. Okay. We're safe in here, but... The thing is that we're in here, so... Um... Let me just quick stack. Common potion reduces enemy aggression and spawn rate. Oh, I can just do that? Oh. Yeah, why not? I thought it said it decreases spawn rate. Now there's a new zombie here. This boomerang has oh, a lot of knockback. Um, I gotta get close to this door to be able to open it, so it's kind of a problem. Um, here. Uh, they're gonna have to chase me a bit more than I would like. But once they're gone, then we don't have to worry about them. And the thing is, they only steal my money. They don't steal money from each other. No, wait, that zombie is actually stealing money from the other ones, I think. The one with the metal detector thing. I'm pretty sure these are just expert mode zombies. Is why they have the metal detector. Just so they can be a bit more annoying. I wouldn't have died, but I did almost get hit there. So, Do I have any wood? No, I do not. Let me just revert this back into wood. So that way I can add in some walls. Nice two-story house. 
Yep, now you can't jump up here, so... I guess the guide's just gonna live up here. Although I'm out of wood, so I can't really do much. Um... Yeah, I don't want to go outside. Because, um... Those. But I think I can get through this one at least. And then maybe work on some metal stuff. Oh yeah, if I have Gus helping me then for sure. No, let's not make minecart tracks actually. Ten axe is gonna be very nice. Let's go ahead and get the iron sword. How much does my boomerang do? Nine? Yeah. Um, I'll keep it in my uh, mind though, I think. So, how much stuff do I have? We're just gonna do that and then go back inside. Yeah, now I've got this sharp iron broadsword, so now I do all of the damage. We're in the double digits now. Oh, they're still in like the triple double digits though, so. Don't think we should be bragging that much. Oh, are you joking? It's a combination of all of my worst fears. That arrow zombie and um, metal detector. What was that pop-up menu? I just tried to switch my art with the Monado. Or is that just a glitch? Or am I just imagining things as well? That could be an option. Yeah, the good thing about the boomerang is that I don't have to mess with those, um, rain zombies. But I just did 20 whole damage to this zombie here, so that's great. Look at this axe now. Look at how fast we can break this tree. I don't think it's that much faster, but it just feels faster because the animation's faster. See, I can even just do some range damage, and then if I feel like finishing it with the sword, I can just do that as well. So while it's trying to approach me, then I can just throw the boomerang at it, and then I can also use the boomerang to retreat. So, it's got a lot of uses. Yeah, hopefully the frame rate's good. Um, I might make a toilet. No, there's actually like no reason to. And I kind of want to save my material. I've never made a toilet before, but I know that it's useless. It's just kind of furniture, so it's there for decoration. I might make one later for decorations if I start working on an actual house today rather than this abomination. But... For now, I'm just not gonna worry about it. Got other things to worry about. And so you can also just use a boomerang for these zombies rather than the sword. Because with the sword, you do more damage, but you get hit a lot, so it's not that great. And the closer you stand to the zombies, the faster that you'll go. Oh, I got a zombie arm, actually. I'm pretty sure that does more damage than my sword. Fast speed, fast speed, average knockback, average knockback. 4%. So yeah, they're the exact same, it's just one's a zombie arm and one's a sword. I'm actually gonna keep the sword though. Cause I usually use a zombie arm, but I feel like mixing it up a bit. 
but yeah, it's already been 50 minutes, in case you're wondering why I wanted to, um, extend the time on this Terraria stream in particular out of all of the Terraria streams that I'm going to be doing for, um, this expert mode. But, yeah, it's because I knew this one's going to take the longest to get started and things like that, so... just wanted to try to get as much out of the way as possible so that way in the later Terraria streams I won't have that much to do. And in case you're wondering, I am playing on the Xbox One version. I kind of mentioned the playing on the Xbox version a few times, but just in case you think that I'm playing on the Switch version or anything, because the Switch version came out pretty recently. Um, I haven't gotten that yet, but I will be getting it probably so that way I can play Terraria pretty much anywhere and it be on the latest update. Um, here, let's just go ahead and add grave markers to the ground. Trying to manage my inventory a bit. Yeah, we have more walls, so that's good. And then table and two chairs. Just to go ahead and have those. And then we're gonna go mining, I think. After I finish the house. And by the house, I mean the guide's room. Because that's pretty much all I need to do. I should just use the, um, this kind of building one, I guess. I don't know what it's called. I'll just call it build mode, and then the other one... Or precision mode versus aiming mode, I guess. Because aiming mode, you need to move around fast, and in precision mode, you move around a lot slower. And I'll kind of show the difference in a second. But yeah, this is precision mode, and then it's like this, and this is aiming mode. Give you an idea of the difference between the two. Yeah, what's that little Monado change that I keep doing? Oh. If I hold LB, I can, like, quick summon a potion. And if I hold RB, then I can Monado my hot bar. Are you kidding? We got a demolitionist. I just wanted to have a room for the guide and the demolitionist if they're just gonna show up. Um Guess we'll just go mining then. So I would like to get some better stuff. Oh, I thought I made an iron pick, so I was kind of confused. Nope, I still have the copper one, because I had my priorities of the sword and the axe. The sword's actually worth it, I think, but the axe, maybe not. Especially when the next time I'm going to be using an axe, it's most likely going to be a chainsaw. I mean, I also need wood here and there, but next time I do a lot of, like, wood gathering, it's probably going to be with a chainsaw at the end of the game. Unless I need some for other reasons before I reach the point where I have a chainsaw. Or I guess it's kind of mid-game is whenever you get a chainsaw, really. Where did I put my ropes? I think I actually left them up there, so... Yeah, I need to have the recall potion in my hotbar anyway, so that's a good reminder. Oh no, I have the ropes here. I'm just blind. I could make a few rope coils, but... 
I don't really need them. And it looks like the frame rate's good on my phone. I can't really see it that well from here, but it looks fine. So my um, stream lab says 1.3% drop frames, but I don't think it's too bad. It doesn't look bad, at least, so I'm hoping it's not. Oh, the guy just moved down here. Yeah, I'm gonna steal your chest. Um, but yeah, you can kinda just stay down here if you want. I really don't care where you go. I was gonna build you a crappy house, but you can stay here. Because it's probably gonna be the same level of quality. The only time I need you is whenever I want to advance to the um, hard mode. So I guess I will... I guess I won't be seeing you then. I'll just see you every time that I want to go mining. Oh, I didn't take any fall damage. That's weird. I thought I was going to die, so... Yesterday was kind of a bad day, um, in terms of, like, falling in video games, because, um... I was doing a challenge in Minecraft. I've been playing it a bit off-stream, and, um... I did a challenge where I couldn't break or mine anything. I just had my, um, ZR button disabled because I was playing on the Switch then because I do have it on my switch but um I was trying that out and I was running through the desert or I, actually oh wait I can't through it because I'm not playing on my switch but yeah basically there was a massive hole in the desert that was I believe like 25 blocks deep maybe and it was a 2 by f um probably 6 I was going to say 4 but it's probably 2 by 6 hole and at the bottom of this 25 block 2x6 hole was lava entirely. There was like no room for anything else on the ground. So I'm just riding my horse through the desert and I fall down it. And that was the end of the run because I had everything on me. Like there's no point in me continuing it. I just went to creative mode and built myself a grave and was like... It's kind of the end of the run. I might do one eventually but... Not for now. But you couldn't actually see the hole because it was like behind a hill. So I was just running up this hill and then all of a sudden I'm just falling. So I try to get my bucket ready and then my screen turns red because I'm on fire and whenever you're on fire in Minecraft it just turns your screen red. Um, rather than allowing you to see. And you're also in a lava. Or I was also in lava so I guess that was another reason. But yeah, basically that happened, and I hear my horse dying. My horse was great. It was an incredibly fast horse that could jump four blocks, and I found it as, like, my third horse. Because there were three horses right next to each other, so I just tried them all out, and I picked that horse because of how good it was, and um, it had, like, diamond horse armor and stuff. It was not in any bad, like, condition at all. It had a decent amount of health. It had 13 hearts, I think. I'm gonna die here actually, so hold on a second. Okay. Maybe not. What happened to my potions? Why do I have one wall to my hotbar and not less your healing potions? Um But yeah, it wasn't like a bad horse or anything. Like it wasn't in a position to where um it would die anytime soon. But it was the first thing to die down there. I had full iron armor, so I really don't know why I died first. Um, but yeah, the hole was in a position to where you couldn't see it. Like, I tested the same route, because I, where I spawned was at a village that was pretty far away, because I had slept in a bed in the village. So I, like, ran around all the way back to spawn, and ran, and found the hole. And I was, like, probably two or three thousand blocks away from the hole, from where my spawn was, so, um... It's just where I had spent the night one night while I was traveling, so that's why my stuff was there. Yeah, I don't think I should mess with this desert, actually, so we're just gonna keep digging down. But, yeah, um, it was not in a position to where I could see it. Um, and it was just a very unfortunate fall. Like, I kind of thought about just quitting the game entirely at that point. 
because there was a hill and there was the hole and yeah all my stuff was on me I had like two diamonds I think which is actually pretty impressive for not being able to press um, the ZR button like not being able to mine or um, break anything I had the button disabled on my controller so there's literally like no button I could press or not the button but the action disabled so there was no button I could press to mine or attack or anything and it had to end the way that it did I had like all of that I had found like six villagers I think total six or seven maybe it might have been more because I've been playing it for I think the past three days just off stream in my free time oh wait I'm gonna die if I don't um, place down one wall obviously um, let me just slide up my fighting area a bit Oh, it's not going to come back until I start mining, isn't it? I didn't expect it. I heard it for a second. I hear it again. I was just about to take my pickaxe and give up as well, but I heard it again. So I just didn't want to try that. But, yeah, that's not too bad. That's not one of the ones that are in the desert, so... It's not too annoying. No. What were they called? Like, Tomb Diggers or something? Tomb Raiders? I... It probably wasn't called that, but I think I called them that. Whenever I was playing. If not, I should've. But yeah, um... Let's just try to get across this canyon using ropes. Or not canyon, but just hole. But yeah, when I fell down the actual hole, it was in slow motion, pretty much. I don't really understand why it felt like as far as the drop as it was. Whenever I was dying in the lava, like I knew I was gonna die, because I... The lava was about three blocks deep. So it kind of took me a while to swim out of it, but I saw that there was like nowhere to stand. Or I think it might have been deeper than that actually. I didn't test how deep it was. But I did eventually make it to the top and I had about like three or four hearts left. So I had a bit of time before I passed. Um, and I was wearing full iron armor in case you're wondering what armor I was wearing. And I was playing in hard mode. Just to give you an idea of how my um, HP went. Because for some reason wearing armor makes it where lava doesn't kill you as fast. Even if you don't have any enchantments on it. Or I had like, I think I had a gold helmet with um, no wait that's actually a different um, speedrun thing. Cause I tried to speedrun the game recently. Um, I might give it up. I have my timer paused, but it's been I think 3 hours and 50 minutes into the speedrun and I have like 5 ender pearls and I need 12. I haven't found the dungeon yet, but I just want to go ahead and get 12 just to have somewhat of an idea of what I'm doing. Here, let me drink his shine potion so that way you can see down here. But yeah, I would actually stream Minecraft, but um, it's just not a fun game to stream. Terraria is a decent game to stream because I can kind of just talk and play it and relax. Um, but Minecraft is... I guess Minecraft, it's boring to watch you do certain things, other things it's not boring, but most of the time it's a very boring game to watch, whereas with Terraria you can kind of like talk in the background. You don't have to focus as much as you do in Minecraft unless you're getting attacked by an enemy, which right now I don't really have to worry about that much. I should probably build an air area, oh no wait, I can just breathe there. I wasn't sure if I could jump out of this hole or not. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this iron ore over here. When I go back to the surface, I'm gonna have iron everything. Except probably armor. And by iron everything, I mean an iron pickaxe. I really should just go up and make an iron pickaxe, so that way I can get material faster. Did a short hop. There we go.
There we go. So that's an air pocket. So I'm gonna try to keep that in mind. There's so much like tungsten and stuff. It's not gonna be important later. Like I usually don't even make tungsten stuff because by the time that I have enough tungsten to make a full tungsten set, I already have better stuff. But I don't plan on exploring that much. Like going to the point where I can find gold and everything. I think this is a world that has gold, I'm not really sure. Because certain worlds have gold, certain ones have platinum. It's kind of just random. I usually have like silver before. I um... It usually goes like copper. No, it's wood, iron, copper. No wait, wood, copper, iron. And then... Um, silver, gold. It's the usual order that I have my material before entering to the point where I can fight the destroyer, or the devourer of worlds, and um, the wall of flesh and stuff. The crimson brain thing. Brain of Cthulhu, or whatever it's called. Yeah, it says Tindrous Iron. I mean, not iron, but copper. Just with a different name. Kind of like how, like, adamant, or not adamantium, but, um, platinum is just gold with a different name and color. I actually don't know. I think I should check that. Do I have my axe? Yeah, I still have my axe, so let's see. I think it's a bit better, maybe. So, I'm not really sure though. Um, yeah, let me just go back up to the surface actually. Um, well, I don't want to go back up to the surface when I'm missing a piece of tungsten, so let me grab that, okay? And now we can go back. I think I went back at the perfect time. Or it might be turning nighttime actually, so maybe not. But yeah, I also thought about playing Stardew Valley on stream rather than Terraria, but I don't know if that'd be a game I could stream as well. That game's like Terraria, where I can like talk and play at the same time, except it's a lot more relaxed, in case you're wondering, than Terraria. It's even like the easy mode of Terraria, the non-expert mode, I guess, of Terraria, is um, still harder than Stardew Valley, that game's. I don't really understand how you die in that game. Unless you go to the mines and then you get swamped, but that's not something that happens a lot. I think I might have died once because of that. And no, I died because I stayed up too late. I guess that's a pretty common way to die in that game. If you like stay up too late and you run out of energy. I think I just made a bunch of trapdoors, or did I turn all that back into wood? Okay, I turned it back into wood. I thought I did the wrong thing there for a second. Um, that zombie is coming back, so, um, yeah, we're just gonna have to kill it. And by kill it, I mean, I need Gus. No, wait, I don't need Gus, I can do this myself. Um, let's see, iron pickaxe, please. Okay, and then... I don't have enough for iron, anything else. So what's the difference? So that one does 5 and it's 40%. Is Tugson better? It's 50%. So I think it is better. Let's see, 5, 40, 6, 50. And it can mine meteorite. This one can't, so it is better. I made a mistake. Don't I get the same defense for doing this? Yeah. Because it gives you a set bonus with the wood. I could make an iron bow. I mean, I guess it'll help. And I guess I put it here as well. 
I already have a disordered inventory and it's the first um, part of this expert mode run. I feel like it's really easy to mess up your inventory in Terraria compared to a lot of other games though. Because you can actually like pick up blocks and things like that compared to most other RPGs. Like in Pokemon I feel like my inventory is never disordered, but in like Terraria I have to clear up my inventory every stream pretty much. And fix it, but I'm not gonna fix it in this stream. I'm probably gonna end the stream pretty soon. As well, this hasn't been too bad of a stream. The beginning was kind of rough, but once I built a house, then it really wasn't that bad, I guess. Like, nothing really happened after that. I guess I can try to farm some cash while I'm out here. I don't want to be too far away from home, just in case things get a bit bad. Why is it so dark in this one corner? I kind of want to light some things up, even though I know it's not going to help that much in Terraria. Because you actually need to have walls for stuff to not be able to spawn. I mean, you know what's really going to be fun is building arenas in this world. And that's something that I can't even skip, but... If you don't have a drill and you build arenas, then it's not that fun. And especially the one for the Wall of Flesh. That one's the easiest one to build, but it's still kind of annoying. Because you have to um, build in a straight line, except you have to do it in the underworld. So that's what makes it annoying, because you can't really get enemies to stop spawning there. The jungle where you have to build the Plantair Arena, that's usually where I build my arenas in general, is because... I'll have to fight Plantera there eventually, so I might as well just try to, um, fight, or make an arena to fight most of my bosses in there. I might start working on that pretty soon, so that way I can just, um, have an arena already somewhat pre-built and then expand it. Oh, nice. Um, I'm dead. Okay, yeah, we're out. I thought I was dead, but I was kind of close. There was a zombie behind me and a zombie- or two zombies in front of me. I went for the one behind me because it had, um, pretty much no knockback on the arrow zombies. And I was underwater as well. And there was a roof. Oh, no. This is really bad. I one of the broom zombies. Or metal detect or whatever that thing is. I guess it's their arm, but... I just started that, I think, probably like an hour ago. Although, part of that was, um, the world loading in. And I'm on a large world, so it took a while. Probably should go binding for a bit more materials. I guess I'll do that. Um, yeah, I guess so. Um, what's your um gamer tag? And I'll try to set it up where you can join. Oh no, wait! I actually don't have gold, so never mind. I thought I did, but I haven't renewed that in a while because I've been playing on the Switch. I usually just stream like Smash Brothers and stuff on the Switch, so I don't really renew Xbox Live Gold that much, but I probably should renew it for a month or something. Although I think it might take me a bit longer to finish your area. Unless I play it daily, which I don't really plan on playing it daily, but I might. I kind of said earlier that I might stream it for like 30 minutes a day, and then stream what I usually stream as well, but I might just do it like once a week or something.
Oh, I can actually make one of these now. I'm gonna go ahead and expand that to maximum as soon as possible so that way I don't have to worry about it. Okay, I'm just gonna go through here and go back to the mine, which is down this way. Can't really go that fast yet, though. I kind of want to see what the traveling merchant has, but I'd have to, like, save and quit. Can I mount a free call potions? Unless I can find a mirror down here. I think I made it down here. Yeah, I did. I don't have the shrine potion though, so I can't really see what I'm going unless I go on the map on the top right is what I'm kind of trying to base myself off of. Okay, so I'm down here. And then I can run over here and jump somewhere around here. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So now I can see. Hopefully that's a bit better. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to do some more mining. And hope to find some more stuff. Oh wait, that's actually gonna kill me. I might as well just wait for that to happen. What do I have on me? Oh, 28 and 85. But yeah, as soon as that thing comes back, it's gonna kill me, so... Yep. That's why I don't really like the desert part and try to avoid that, but I guess I'm still somewhat close to it. Oh, my phone's not charging on the charger. Let me try to fix that. So that way it doesn't die. While I'm streaming. And then I won't be able to see the stream. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a blue slime just in the water. There we go. Don't really need to get my stuff back, I think. I'm just gonna try to hunt for some surface iron, I think, instead. And then the guy's just down there because there was, um, a table and chairs, and, um, I had placed a torch whenever I was exploring. So he just went down there, and now he's stuck. Though I don't really need the guide for anything at the moment. bit out of place, but it still works. Oh, and I barely made it up that. I wasn't sure if I could. But yeah, I wonder if there's anything over here. I guess just the desert. Which hopefully that's not too bad. Oh yeah, there's one of those pits, so... Might as well just turn back. Or you know what, actually, I had kind of said that I wanted to trim, or in the stream earlier, so I think I'm just going to do that now. Um, we made a bit of progress. Um, a lot more than I actually thought that we were going to make. Like, I thought we would just have the house done or something. So this isn't too bad for streaming for, like, an hour and 20 minutes. Um, but we also had, like, the world download and stuff that happened before. But yeah, that's going to be it for now, and, um... I guess I hope to see everyone in the next stream. Which I think that will be tomorrow as like, um, viewer battles or something, maybe. I just didn't want to do viewer battles tonight. Um, I really wanted to play Terraria, but I think I'll do viewer battles tomorrow night. So, I guess I'll see everyone then.